Whoa, now we're here with one of my favorite drummers that I've only discovered, what, maybe two years ago. Dan Schindler here with Drum Talk TV at the 2016 NAMM show at the Vic Firth booth with Oded Caffrey. Hello, Dan. I can't tell you what an honor it is to meet you. And I mean it's that. so nice to meet you, finally. Oh, I am such a huge fan of your playing. We're rolling some video of you playing right now on the streets of London. way up in the mountains by a lake. I just, I love what you do, and it was so exciting to see you here at the NAMM show performing, especially with your classic setup with all the electronic loops going and your giant plastic water bottle. Oh, Road especially. I know my favorite like, percussion yeah, instrument like, now. I said, cannot perform in front of Dan without my uh, water bottle, but uh, yeah. Listen, it's an amazing opportunity to be in NAMM. It's an amazing show. So many colorful and interesting artists and I'm, I'm overwhelmed and I'm very thankful. And I want to thank you for your support in what I'm doing. Oh, our, our pleasure. Tell everybody, how, how did your work develop? You know, how, how did your style develop and working in what you do on the streets, like in London and whatnot? Well, I was um, starting to play my drums in the bomb shelter in my family home in Israel when I was 10 years old, very influenced by rock. And uh, when I was 16, my family moved to Paris. And that was a great change in my, the way I percept rhythm, because in Paris is full of jazz and African music. So that was a big change. And then uh, I started to learn some classical music. Always, I think, my heart is always to explore and to be adventurous. And also, I like drummers that are uh, very talkative. Stuart Copeland, for example. And uh, great, great example, by the way. Yeah. yeah. The more, I, yeah, yeah. Stuart is great, and also the spirit of Stuart and pushing, pushing forward. And then I was a session player for a long time, but never really happy with this because it's not my really nature. And one day in England, uh, seven years ago, six years ago, six years ago, I discovered that I can put my drums in the street enjoy myself, be recognized, get enough income to survive. And this has been a life-changing experience. And I'm feeling very, very happy. And that brought me here to NAM. And I'm so happy to play for people who like drums in the street, not having any intermediary between us, just bringing the drum to the street. So that's it. My influence are many. You know, I traveled to Africa many years ago. Uh, I've been traveling all around the world. I can mention that as a child I was admiring Dave Weckel and now I always do appreciate his work and he's teaching me online and we are in good context so this is very interesting. So the journey never stops and that's it. I'm very thankful. That's great and you know you're a really good dancer too. <laughs> Thank you. And, and you know I think at least this excuse I use to my wife is that most drummers don't dance, I think. We're known for the ones creating the rhythm that those di people dance to, but I think, in general, most drummers don't dance. That's a mistake, because when I travel to Africa, every drummer is a dancer, and every dancer is a drummer. And back in the days, the drummers, they used to do tap dancing. I mean, long live the small difference, the great body rich knew to dance. And... Uh, I like to dance and I like to dance more and I like to sing and I like to go all around the drum kit and not just to stay behind the drum kit because look we are the drums let's not forget it's a niche we are crazy about drums you I everybody a drum talk of course but in order to get the, the bigger audience and that's my aim to appreciate the drums you need to 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 serve it to them in a in a way that he will understand it. And that's been a, a life, a, a work of life for me. How do you translate the drums? And I feel that little by little I get there, because people all the time came and say, you know what? I never thought I'd be enjoying the drums so much. I never thought a drummer could touch me, you know? And that's, 
because drumming is amazing, drummers are amazing, we are leaders, we are changing the world against Stuart Copeland. Stuart Copeland from the police. I'm sorry, it's not Sting. You know? And many people, if you look at their biography, they were drummers. Madonna was a drummer, you know? Peter Gabriel was a drummer. And, and you talked about dancers, and Sammy Davis Jr. and Fred Astaire are both drummers. We're both drummers. Sammy Davis Jr. is like, you have no words. How much, how much talent this guy have? You know, like, forget about it. Yeah. So, what about dancing in Nam? <laughs> anyway, Dan, you are doing a great work. Uh, your support in what I do has been tremendously positive for me. Oh, thank you. And being able, ma making me be able to connect with drummers from all around the world. Any drummers around the world who see us now, please free to get in touch. If you want to ask a question about drumming in the street, about drumming, about anything, I'm, I'm here and Dan is here. So, and, yeah. and Oded's website is right here on the screen. Feel free to reach out to him. And thank you for taking time to join us after such an amazing performance. Thank you really. so much. You're welcome. And thank you all for joining us here on DrumTalkTV.com at the NAMM Show at the Vic Firth booth. Over and out.